A few people have asked me about an understairs cupboard that I completed recently. I put some pictures on Instagram and I did some door notches, which I did a video on how to do door notches with a router. But unfortunately, I didn't do a video of actually doing the understairs cupboard. But what I have done is put together some pictures to show you exactly what I did and how I did it. Well, this is how it looked at the very start, just a basic understairs area where things have just been left and doesn't really give you much room to put anything. Um, but of course, having my workshop, I was able to put all the big sheets in there and get them cut up roughly to size. And I'm looking rather smug about it, I must say, but it's a great space. And uh, so, yes, I started off by putting, uh, making a kind of column, sort of frame to put on the left side where I could hang the first door and I've done it here and I'm using the laser level 360 laser level absolutely brilliant idea really does help with the construction as you can see so once I got all the doors cut I needed to put the holes in for the hinges and here I'm using these Hafley soft closed hinges they're my favourite, they're really nice, they close really softly and uh, there we go. So I put all the holes in the doors for these. And here's the first door that I hung and as you can see it closes really nice. and I've also got the divider up there. So first door hung and first divider. No shelves going in this bit, it's just a tall cupboard. So next we are moving on and I've got another divider and a shelf in the next compartment and just starting to get the next bit done already there we go so then there's the third divider and another shelf and these were just fixed at the back with a batten and also at the top and I angled the top of the divider and here's the last divider um, and this is where I'm going to be making a box kind of drawer unit which goes in there, it fixes to the sides, and there it is. It's on a set of drawer runners and soft closes as well. So that closes nice and softly. And there it is. So nearly got all the doors on and just got the, the drawer front on as well. So what I need to do now is cut out the holes or cut out the notches as you can see here that we can actually open and pull the doors and draw open with and if, uh, if you want to see that video of how I did that you can check that out at the end of this video so here they are all hung and all lovely and leveled up and closing softly as you can see all the doors had two coats of paint and the inside had two coats of paint as well so really nice finish on there as well and as you can see those doors close lovely gives it a much nicer fresher modern look lots of storage space in there the customer's really happy and i'm really happy as well i think it went really well and i particularly like this drawer unit we decided to put the the notch on the top it wouldn't obviously fit on the right side there so we put the notch on the top um, of the drawer front and again soft closing boom there we go check it out well thanks for watching and see you on the next video